What is up, everybody? It's Josh here again. We got a real short video for you showing you the new changes in version 47 for Lethal Company. Let's get into it, shall we? We're going to take a real quick skim over the patch notes here and show you the most important things. And then we're going to go in game and show you the others. The developer says that they have been taking a break, but they're working on version 50. And we have versions 47 notes here. They added a replayable challenge moon mode. They are weekly moons that use random seeds for everyone based off the current week using the UTC time zone. The profit you make at the end of the challenge day will be uploaded to a leaderboard so you can pair your efficiency with your friends. The challenge moons also have randomly generated names, increasing amounts of scrap, random starting credits, and other randomly tweaked properties. And it's less of a competition, more of a shared experience for people, giving the most seasoned employees a challenge. They don't know what kind of moons are going to be generated, but it surely it's going to be crazier than the other moons. And if you're using mods, turn them off so you can get the same moon as everyone. You also now have a random positioning of lightning strikes, the destination of the inverse teleporter, and precise positions of scrap items are now deterministic and based off of a random seed. They also added server tags for public lobbies. Type in the tag exactly to filter by servers that were created with that tag. There's a new type of hallway in the factory map type we're going to check out. And they're also going to be adding more rooms and variety to the current indoor map types rather than adding new map types. They made some changes to enemies as well. The thumper's movement has been reworked, so its animations and acceleration should be more consistent. If you hit the thumper, it speeds up, but its turn speed now drops more reliably when it reaches high speed. And when the bunker spider's almost dead, it does get a little bit faster. The bunker spider's webs also now have a much larger collision radius. So be careful when traversing around those. And the force shot now has a more likelihood to leave the player alone when chasing it near the ship. Coal heads now also have a more audible footstep. Nutcrackers are now able to move slightly when aiming. And they only do this whenever they fire at the same person several times. And now it takes a longer time for gestures to wind up. You can now take a small amount of damage when falling from a slightly lesser height, and the height damage increase is intended to make verticality feel more important. For example, feel that Titan Returns trips were too simple for its level of reward, so you basically gotta go down the stairs now. Landmines no longer instantly explode whenever you touch them, rather than waiting for players to step off giving you the opportunity to teleport someone away. Shovels are now more consistent. You can now hit enemies around corners and nearby objects without blocking the shovel. They fixed an issue that occurred when the mass enemy would interrupt a player converting it, which would result in the player becoming stuck or unable to move. I've had that happen before. And mass enemies no longer duplicate, causing pure chaos. Fix some issues with items, not counting as being on the ship. And spray paint now disappears from the moon when you enter orbit. And now items for gift boxes should stay on the ship when it moves. And a bug with infinite gift boxes has now been fixed. They've also removed the decor for Christmas and the chances of gift boxes to spawn has been reduced. Not removed, but reduced. And they've also fixed the ladder. So we're going to go in game and kind of show you a few of these major points. Also, just to mention the Better with Friends award, it was awarded. So that's pretty awesome. So when going to actually host a server, you'll see now an option for a moon down here. And this is your weekly challenge moon. You have one day to make as much profit as possible. There we go. Now you'll see you have a purple suit for the challenge mode. And it will show what maps are up there. Welcome to, I don't know how to pronounce that, Voyoma. V-O-I-U-M-Y-A. And it says make as much profit as possible. There we go. Now it's working. We're just gonna land, stormy. And it really just kinda looks like Don, to be honest with you, as far as the layout. So it's basically a map with a different name, but it is a challenge mode, so you need to go in and get as much stuff as you can, and you'll get on that challenge board. And this time we made a little bit of money. So we're gonna go ahead and see if it actually works. Made about 1,200. And now you see it's a challenge result, and our rank is 12,000. So that's a challenge mode. You also get a random starting amount for equipment, so ours is like $133, it looks like. And when you go to join a crew, you'll see up here the server tag, and you can type in your server tags, and you can also choose with challenge moon. Also, when you're in the factory, what was that? You'll notice that there is a new area, and this is what the new area looks like. It's kind of like a 
different way or different section to separate the factory like so. So this seems like a very new area right here. It's kind of a more octagonish or circleish. So that's a new area in the factory it seems. And I'm fairly certain that these are generated randomly throughout your maps. Of course the regular music is back and the Christmas decorations were removed. This version. And you should be able to hit mobs around corners now. So, and you now will take fall damage. So basically we're down here at the bottom platform where you used to drop items off here on Titan. And we're gonna jump off the side here. We just jumped off once. That's the second time we jumped off. And the third is critical. And this is what happens when you jump all the way from the top of Titan now. You get the rails, you can actually save yourself. You would take fall damage from lots of it. But say if you don't hit that and you fall the way down to that platform down there, it could be deadly. Let's try the game with full HP. Alrighty, and we're gonna try to jump to the very bottom now. Yep, you'll die. <laughs> so if you were to jump from this platform right here, just right down below the ladder, you die. So be careful jumping where you jump off of. If it's too high, you may die and fall. Now with landmines, if you step on it, you'll hear a click, but you will only explode if you step off. Which means if you step on a landmine and you have your friend teleport you, like so, you'll actually survive. Which is pretty cool. Now we're going to talk about the force giants and how they stay away from the ship, and we'll show you how that is. Got a little Forest John here. We're gonna get away from him for one, and then get close to the ship here. So they still come to the ship if you aggro them, it seems like. But once they de-aggro, they should stay away from the ship. But they look like they will still aggro you and try to eat you if you're on the ship, on the outside of it, so still be careful. Ah! And of course you can still find boxes. We just found the one here. Looks like it just gave us a laser pointer. And the bunker spider actually goes faster whenever you hit it now. And whenever it gets close to dying, it'll run really fast. As you can see. But it is much, much faster when it's about ready to die. And the thumper actually does run really fast, but when it goes to turn, when you hit the thumpers, they are super, super fast now. You may be able to circle them around like this, but until you get teleported out. But they do actually run much faster now, and they've changed the way the humpers are, so. And it takes much longer for the gesture to actually wind up now. Okay, let's get out of here. And now the Nutcracker will now move when aiming. If it's shot at you a few times. So. And this is an update video, so we're going to give a shout out to our late night crew members. Thank you so much to KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Aaron, Steady Bob, Jim K72, Kristen, Jaybird, Fubar, Chris, and Sky Reaper One. Thank you so much for joining the Late Night Crew and for being Late Night Crew members. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And thank you to our Late Night supporters as well. And that's it for this video. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will get you more Lethal Company videos whenever those release and the updates as well. We'll plan on maybe doing an update video. We'll especially do some videos whenever new content comes out. Hopefully we'll see you next time. Peace.